Hey everybody, this is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the quick reaction to the second period. Is in the first period, at least in a sloppy period for both teams. The Flyers did a good job at keeping the Tampa Bay Lightning to the outside and not getting much shot in potent areas, and specifically down right by the crease, which that was not the case in the second. As Stamco scored, a seal was able to get a nice block, so he bounced back at least on that play. Still, that Yandel sealer line is not looking peachy keen tonight like it's looked most of the season. That has been our most struggling defensive lines, but pairings have had to be mixed up to take into account for Derek Broussard, for Brass being out, who's of course been playing pretty well this season thus far. But the Flyers, you got to block out Tampa Bay, even with Braden Point injured. Corey Perry is obviously, you see it at this point of his career, he's not what he once was, but you see it in the postseason specifically, and you see it there. He still is a pretty solid damn net front present, as he's able to score wide open in front of the net, assisted by Stamkos and Miguel Sergachev. So Stamkos has a goal and an assist, and so does Zach Bogosian. And it seems like those guys that never have goals, Jamie Baskell of Nitty Gritty, Flyer Nitty Gritty, tweeted about it. Like, those guys that never have goals seem to always get their first goals against us. Chris Mayer tweeted, this is so frustrating. I think that's a great way to just really put this game, because it is a frustrating game. Yes, we have key injuries, but you could have took advantage of the sloppy play, the non-A game of the Tampa Bay Lightning in the first period. The Flyers did not do that. Hence, they were down one nothing on a slap shot by Zach Bogosian. They did have more shots. Yes, they let in shot. But they were not able to get very high keen plus scoring chances against Andre Vajaleski. And like they said on the broadcast, you gotta get in front of them, you gotta get dirty, you gotta get the good but dirty goal. Like we get pissed off when we play the Bruins, they get in order to beat this Tampa team and beat the best goaltender in the world. So you're not gonna be able to get it just from simply putting shots on net. Now I will say to start that third or start the second period, excuse me, the struggle bunny period consistently for the Flyers this year, minus a couple games. They did have a couple better chances when G's line was on there. And also, obviously, Zach McEwen, again, still playing like a bat out of hell, had a couple chances himself throughout that period, as well as Atkinson. So they were solid, I guess, in the beginning. And But then once 6.43 into the period, when Stammer scored, that was just when everything started going downhill again. And the Flyers had just those complete fall-off and complete collapses. Um, second periods, and that's really the similarity through our organization. The Phantoms have been struggling all season, so knock them out, but I cover the ECHL Royals, or Royals for Flyers Nitty Gritty. They usually have just a gap part of the game where they play really bad, where sometimes it affects them as it has in a couple of their losses they have down there this season. They're doing really good second in their division, and how it has affected our Philadelphia Flyers this year in a couple of their losses. We're just having a very bad, very bad, like, seven to ten minute stretch, which is exactly what the Flyers had again in this period, had a couple okay chances again to round out the final like minute and 25 of the period, but they had a really bad, let's say 11 to 12 minute stretch after Stammer scored about seven minutes into the period, so it was just not a good second, the second period woes continued for the Flyers, the first period at least, when it was sloppy from both teams, they couldn't take advantage of it, and that's something you would hope that the Flyers were able to do and get more scrappy goals, but they didn't. But at least they kept the Tampa Bay Lightning to the outside, where in this period they did not do that at all. You had Perry score down low, and you had Stamkos, who on a bad play by Joel Fairby at the line, who looks to be struggling, obviously, after a good start to the season, not oh so good thus far, obviously, this game and throughout since then. Seems to be struggling with confidence. He made a bad pass, and then Stamkos was able to get a goal that Bogosian was able to assist on, who is definitely going to be a star of this game with the way it is going as I do the game recap tonight. And also, Steven Stamkos, who has a goal and an assist, is definitely going to be a star of the game with the way this game is going, unless if it turns it around. On the positive notes, the penalty kill has stayed sharp, putting them 0 for 2, and actually getting some of our best chances, like JJ pointed out, on the penalty kill to score on our end, so that's not supposed to be what happens, but again, the second period struggles continue, we have 20 goals in our last 11 games compared to 23 in the first five games, so there's the biggest issue there, you're not getting a good enough goal output, that puts more pressure on the rest of your overall team, a la the defense and goaltending, where Carter Hart's doing nothing wrong this game, he couldn't have saved Stammer, and he couldn't have really saved the shot 
there that you would look for him point wide over in front of the net, and the other Nick Sealer blocked him out on. So in order to come back and make a very hard and difficult comeback down in Tampa, it's very unlikely it's going to happen. But for the Flyers to have a chance to come back, you need to play a cleaner game. You need to keep them to the outside, and you need to get those dirty goals and get to the dirty areas and try to get scrappy in front of the net. you got to block out Vasilevsky just as Nick Sealer accidentally blocked out his own goaltender in the first period. So this has been a reaction of the Flyers' second period. Have a great time plus day, everybody. If you join the kind of scrap up above or down below in the easy-to-use widget, and subscribe over at Flyers Nitty Gritty and Steel Flyers, Pure Low Wisdom, and Payton on the radio, as well as Off the Wall Hockey, all our members of the Steel Flyers community. Peace out and stay safe, everybody. And go Flyers. Hopefully they can make a very difficult comeback.